Hi and welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, my name is Meg and this is Skylark Beauty. Today I just wanted to do a quick weekly update. The AC is running, so I'm going to try and speak over it. Sorry, my sleeve's all ridden up. So I'm going to try and speak over it. The first product I want to talk about is this Purelease Matcha Green Tea Antioxidant Priming Moisturizer. I got it in my Ipsy bag as an add-on, so it's $12, but get this, it's $12 on Ipsy but it's actually $39 retail. So if you wanna pay full price for it, it's 39 or you can get it for $12 on Ipsy. And it is this packaging right here, it's beautiful. It comes out white, but almost like a gel waterish type. When you rub it in, oh man, when you rub it in, it just smells so good, it smells like white tea or green tea and it just like melts into the skin and it creates this beautiful canvas priming canvas for your foundation so the second thing i want to talk about is the neutrogena hydro boost water gel lotion sunscreen that's spf 30. now what i do is i put a little bit of this on first where it comes out kind of blue smells a little bit like sunscreen but not too overwhelming and then what I like to do is make sure that that soaks in for about 30 seconds. And then I put a little bit of this dotted around my face and put that on and then let it set. It's just a really good priming base. And you don't even need to use a primer underneath of it. You could just use this as your primer and it's perfect. It's like $13 at the drugstore. You get three ounces. So it lasts for a very, very long time. I've had it for about three weeks now and I've barely made a dent in it. These two things together are my perfect summer base before I put my foundation on and I really, really, really enjoy them and highly suggest them. This is a little pricey, so if you don't get it from Ipsy, at least get this and use it as your moisturizer and sunscreen before putting on your makeup because you will not be sorry. It creates a very, very, very nice canvas for your foundation to go on evenly and it moisturizes all the little dry patches on your skin, so I would highly suggest this. My next favorite is from Revolution Beauty. Makeup Revolution is now Revolution Beauty and it's from London and they redid their line as well as came out with a new line called Obsession, I believe. But this is their highlighter in the shade Dare to Divulge and it is their highlighter reloaded. It's beautiful. I thought it might be a little too dark for me at first, but I'm so happy that I got it because it's a little on the peachy pink side and I'm wearing it today and it's just such a pretty color. It's not too dark, not too icy white. It goes really well. I don't have any tan on right now. So this is my natural skin color and I'm pretty fair. Mm, I just say I'm pretty light and so it works on probably light to medium skin tones any fairer and it might look a little too golden on you a little too dark so this is about as light as as light of a complexion as I would suggest going with it so there we go I love it I love it I just can't recommend it enough then my fourth favorite is the California love palette from ColourPop I'm wearing it on my eyes today. It is just this beautiful, brassy, bronze, orange palette that is great for the summer. I created today's eye look with it and it is just beautiful. And the cool thing about this is I see it transitioning into the fall. It was smart that they put it out when they did. It came out last month. And you can still use all of these colors, especially for the fall, if you incorporate this terracotta and this darker brown and this really dark brown right here, and maybe even this kind of like mulberry metallic shade, you can create some really pretty fall looks. And fall is almost upon us. It's the beginning of August, but August is gonna whip by like that. You know how it is. And so I really like this palette and highly suggest it. It's $18 and you can still get it on colorpop.com and it's just beautiful. The Super Shock Shadow right here I'm wearing on my lid and it is just so creamy and vibrant and I would just highly suggest it. Sorry about my Pikachu in the back. I just realized he was there. We use it to corral Jerry to get him back into his cage. So I just figured that I would leave him there. I am very proud. I won him at Dave & Buster's. So there you go, Pikachu from Dave & Buster's, woo. So the last two products I actually wanna talk about 
are the NYX Lingerie Push-Up Long Lasting Lipstick. It looks like this. It looks kind of like a crayon, but it's got this really nice point to it. It's what I'm wearing underneath the next product. And it's this really pretty like mulberry shade. Beautiful for what I think this summer or actually year round. I think year round it's appropriate and it's a really pretty. It's a little darker, but I sheared it out with my finger. I blotted it out and then I put the next product that I'm going to talk about on over it. But this really does last. It's not too matte. It's kind of just like a demi matte. And what I really like about it is that you can pull out this little sharpener and sharpen the tip so it can have that really nice sharp tip to create like a very sharp, even line, almost like a lip pencil and a lipstick combined, which is what makes this very convenient and nice. So I really like the formula of this and I'm gonna pick up a few more colors, but this color is this beautiful, beautiful kind of cranberry shade that I think transitions wonderfully from the spring and summer to the fall. And I'm probably gonna pick up a darker, vampier shade for the winter time. So I would highly suggest this lingerie push-up long-lasting lipstick from NYX. The last product that I wanna talk about is this So Juicy Plumping Gloss from ColourPop in the shade Let It Happen. Oh my gosh, guys. By itself, it's beautiful. It's this sheer, sheer papaya with a little bit of shimmer in it. And then over things, it adds this just wet, slick, really, really, really shiny, diamondy look to whatever color you have underneath. And that's what I'm wearing on top of this lip color. And it adds just this beautiful, dazzling shine over whatever lip color you're wearing. It lasts for a very long time. It's not the kind of gloss that's just gonna disappear. It is a little on the stickier side, but that doesn't bug me because I know that that means that it's going to last for, my AC's coming back on, sorry guys. I know that it's going to last for a long time and that it'll stay on my lips for a while. It's very moisturizing and it has a nice light mint scent to it and it is a little tingling and cooling, which I happen to like. So it does kind of plump up your lips a little bit. As you can tell, my upper lip looks pretty plump. So I think it does have plumping properties to it. So I would highly suggest this. And it comes in so many different colors that you better believe I'm gonna be picking up some more of these. They're great. I think they're only $6. I'll check that out though. I'll put it in the description box. So anyway, those were my products of the week that I wanted to talk about. I have been MIA because of health stuff and school stuff and just life stuff, but I am planning on getting much better about my filming schedule. I also wanted to get Jerry to pick out my makeup a second time. He's kind of squirmy and it's hard to get him to pay attention. So I might just have one of my dogs at home at my parents' house pick out my makeup for the second round now that I have a microphone, which I didn't in the first video, and pick out some more recent products to do a full face with. But we'll see. I'll probably get that up sometime next week or the week after. But thank you for watching and please like and subscribe. I'd love it if you became part of the flock with Jerry and I, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you, bye.